Cockroaches are unsanitary and annoying pests that are unwelcome guests in any home. Everybody agree? Okay. But the smelly and expensive pesticides out there on the market are just as unpleasant and unsafe. So ditch the toxic chemicals and try these 100% natural ways to keep roaches out of your house for good. 1. Know where and why infestations start. Before you go on the offensive, you need to know where your target is, right? Infestations usually start in the kitchen, especially in those dark, hard-to-clean spaces behind and under cabinets and appliances. So make sure you keep your kitchen thoroughly clean before and after cooking and that no food is left out on the counters or spilled in the cabinets. Roaches are attracted to garbage, meat, cheese, sugary foods, mm -hmm. and grease. Keep that stuff out of their reach, and they shouldn't show up in the first place. But in case they do, there's always… Number 2. Bay leaves Cockroaches are repulsed by the smell. You probably already have bay leaves on hand, but if not, they're easily found in any grocery store. Try tucking them or leaving a clump in those hard-to-clean places. This method may take a lot of bay leaves and patience, but it's a nice natural way to send roaches packing. Number 3. Garlic or cayenne powder On that note, there are plenty of spices with strong odors that repel roaches. You can use garlic or onion powder and sprinkle it in and around their favorite hangout spots. You might even mix the two together for a super pungent repellent. Number 4. Lemons Cut a lemon in half and squeeze it directly over your surfaces. You can also mix some lemon juice with a little water in a spray bottle in order to target those hard-to-reach areas that cockroaches love so much. The lemon juice will effectively repel these pests, and your kitchen will smell amazing too. An added bonus is that it's also a natural disinfectant. That's crucial since roaches carry a host of dangerous bacteria and viruses. Number 5. Vinegar with peppermint oil Lots of insects can't stand these two smells, roaches included. Just fill a medium-sized spray bottle with mostly vinegar and add enough drops of peppermint essential oil so that you can smell it. Give it a shake and get to spraying. Target your kitchen and bathroom. Get the corners of your floors, all the nooks and crannies, and roaches won't come anywhere near your house. Number 6. Neem oil this one keeps away a lot of insects and pests because it contains a certain chemical that's poisonous to them. It's found in many sprays and lotions, but pure neem oil will really do the trick. Hey, you might have to spend a little extra cash, but it's still cheaper than the exterminator. You can mix it with water in a spray solution, or just sprinkle the powder form where need be. Number 7. Soap Solution Find a soap that contains borax so that your solution packs an even better punch. Borax is a natural antiseptic and cleaner that's used in powdered laundry detergents and disinfecting hand soaps. Mix the soap with a little hot water and spread it thickly on your kitchen counters and near any infestation points. Cockroaches and similar pests breathe through the pores of their shells and skin. So when they start crawling around in this soap, the borax will get the job done. Number 8 catnip. Your kitty might love it, but the same can't be said about cockroaches. Put some fresh catnip leaves in a sachet, you know, those little sheer drawstring bags usually used for steeping tea, or other porous bag. Set them around in the same popular roach places, cabinets, corners, and whatnot. Just remember to change out the leaves when needed so that your anti-roach balls keep their potency. If you grow catnip in your garden, that's even better, since you'll always have an endless supply on hand. Now, besides all those DIY natural treatments, there are also cockroach traps that you can make yourself with ingredients you likely have in your kitchen right now. Once you've put them together, place them in the spots where you think the roaches are coming from, like nice dark places for them to look for food and water. But instead of a snack and some hydration, they'll find number 1. Baking soda and sugar trap. Take the smallest dish you can find – it can even be the lid to a gallon of milk or juice – and put a mix of baking soda and sugar in it in a 1 to 1 ratio. Then set another equally small container full of water near it. The sweet sugary smell attracts roaches, 
so they eat the powder mixture. Once they take a drink of water, it reacts with the baking soda and, well, let's just say the roaches get a bad case of bubble guts that they don't walk away from. Keep checking your trap, clean up around it, and replenish it when necessary. Number 2. Duct Tape Trap Cut a sizable strip of duct tape off of the roll, maybe about the length of your forearm. Put the strip sticky side up and fold down each end so that it's easy to pick up and dispose of later on. You'll also need a bait. Remember, besides sweet sugary stuff, roaches also love fatty foods. So a small hunk of cheese or a dollop of peanut butter with some sugar on top will be perfect. Place your bait in the middle of the strip. The idea is that the roaches will go after the bait and get stuck in the duct tape on the way. Just don't use a sweet liquid as your bait. This will dissolve the tape's stickiness. Number 3. Slippery Jar Trap Grab an empty pickle jar or one of similar size and make sure it is completely clean and dry. Put some bait in the bottom, like that hunk of cheese, sugary peanut butter, or even some pan grease. Now, spread some petroleum jelly all over the inside of the jar, especially around the inside of the mouth. The cockroaches will climb in to go after the bait, but they won't be able to climb back up the slippery surface to escape. You can even make it easier for them to get into by covering the outside of your jar with painter's tape. Feel free to make several of these traps and place them throughout your house. Number 4. The Coffee Trap Grab a clean, dry glass jar. Take a small styrofoam or plastic cup and fill it with wet coffee grounds. The cup should be small enough to easily fit in the jar, yet sturdy enough to be unaffected by water. Place your small cup of wet coffee grounds down inside the jar. Fill the rest of the jar with water, stopping a little below the surface of the bait cup. Roaches are drawn to the smell of coffee too, so they'll climb in after the grounds but won't be able to get out since they're not the greatest of swimmers. Repeat as necessary, and your population of roaches should eventually be gone. And finally, you should recognize when this infestation is beyond your control. Cockroaches might seem like introverts, hiding in isolated spots and whatnot, but they're actually quite social, not just with you. So, if you see one or two, you probably have lots more where they came from. They've probably got whole colonies in the walls, roof tiles, sewage system, under the bathtub, and anywhere else dark and out of reach. Roaches are also nocturnal so they do most of their scavenging while you're asleep. If you see them during the day, you likely already have a major problem. If you try any of these natural remedies over time, but it doesn't seem to make a difference, then it's probably high time to call a professional. And if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is click the left or right video and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.